let us just discuss the identification of the individual waves so identification of waves you know this comes with the experience this comes with time now what are these waves we have a c x v y and occasionally you will have this h wave as well so out of these a c x v y you take this a wave it is a positive wave v wave this is also a positive wave and x and y waves they are the negative waves right x and y waves they are the negative waves so like uh, you take a positive wave that means during your a and as well as v there is increase in the right atrial pressure whereas during x and as well as y there is decrease in the right atrial pressure right so to crest two troughs now why these particular waves appear and what does these waves indicate and how is that you will correlate with the cardiac cycle events all that let me try to discuss now so you take the individual waves that is a wave so a wave it occurs due to the atrial contraction so what does the a wave tells you the pressure within the right atrium increases so whenever there is atrial systole right so whenever there is atrial systole there is increase in the right atrial pressure right and that increase at right atrial pressure is represented by the a wave right and it is the dominant wave which is occurring before the carotid pulsations and it is the dominant wave before the appearance of the s1 right so before s1 you get this particular a wave okay now once the atria is contracting ventricle will be in a state of the relaxation right atrial systole is your a wave ventricle will be in a diastole now what will be the next event the atria will be relaxing and ventricle will be contracting so x wave is due to what after the atrial contraction the next event is the atrial relaxation so x wave is due to the atrial relaxation right it is due to the atrial relaxation now what about the c wave i will explain to you but this x wave it is primarily due to atrial relaxation and this particular x wave again we have two things right or we have two components one we have x and as well as the x dash now what is this x and x dash for that you need to understand first what exactly is the c wave now you see now when atria is relaxing what the ventricle will be doing ventricle will be contracting when ventricle contracts okay so let us just assume this is the right atrium and this is the right ventricle and this is the tricuspid valve which is connected to chordae tendineae to the papillary muscles right so when the right ventricle it is contracting the pressure within the right ventricle increases and as the pressure within the right ventricle increases that pressure is exerted to the tricuspid valve leaflets and these particular tricuspid valve leaflets right these particular tricuspid valve leaflets they are pushed into right atrium right these tricuspid valve leaflets they are pushed into right atrium during right ventricular contraction so once the tricuspid valve leaflets are pushed into right atrium what will happen to the right atrial pressure again the right atrial pressure again it increases and that is what is your c wave okay so c wave it appears during the x wave descent so the c wave it tells you that the cusps 
they are bulging into right atrium right cusps they are bulging into right atrium so c wave is due to bulging of the cusp into right atrium that is tricuspid valve cusps and where are these particular or where is this c wave the c wave it is present on the descent of the x wave okay now so we were discussing about the x and as well as the x dash so the initial x wave is due to atrial relaxation now what about this x dash component this x dash component it's a part of the atrial relaxation but during that x dash component what has happened during the c wave the tricuspid valve has bulged into the right atrium and during this x dash the entire tricuspid valve ring it descends downwards okay so this x dash it is due to descent of the tricuspid valve ring along with that the tricuspid valve cusps this entire thing will be descending down so once this tricuspid valve cusps once they are descending down back again you get this x dash okay so x wave is due to atrial relaxation and x dash it is due to downward movement or due to descent of the tricuspid ring caudally during the ventricular contraction that is about the x dash then followed by that the v wave so v wave it is again a positive wave and that is due to venous filling right that is due to venous filling so the right atria it is receiving the blood from superior vena cava and as well as the inferior vena cava so once right atria is receiving the blood from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava the right atrial pressure increases and thereby you get this particular v wave so v wave is due to venous filling and this particular v wave it is seen due to rise in right atrial pressure because of the venous filling and you have to remember that this particular v wave it is the one which appears after this particular x wave okay then coming to the y wave so y wave it is again a negative deflection so y wave is due to atrial emptying so now what has happened now during the venous filling the right atrial pressure is very much elevated so once the right atrial pressure increases that increase the right atrial pressure will open the tricuspid valve and once the tricuspid valve opens the blood from the right atrium gushes into the right ventricle and thereby there will be atrial emptying resulting in y wave so y wave is due to atrial emptying right it is due to atrial emptying so that is the y wave okay so y wave it is again a negative wave and one more important wave is the h wave the h wave usually it is not seen right this particular h wave it is the one which is present before the a wave that means it is a pre systolic right wave but pre systolic wave of what not the ventricle so it is a pre systolic wave of the atria atrial contraction will cause the a wave just before the a wave you get this particular h wave and this h wave it is usually seen during the slow heart rate when there is like bradycardia you get this the h wave okay and it occurs due to passive right heart filling during the diastole right passive right heart filling during the diastole 